Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. If you click this video, then it means that you are interested in learning what a value ladder is. So let's get right into it. What is a value ladder? When it comes to running your business, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna start with an example. Let's say we have movie theater A and movie theater B, okay? Movie theater A only has the actual movie. That's all it offers. Movie theater B offers everything you can imagine. You can come in to just watch the movie. You can get popcorn, candy, or sodas, if you so please. You can rent out the entire movie and they give out discounts in a newsletter, okay? Which one do you think would make more? Which one has more options? That's the thing. Movie theater A only has customers coming in to watch a movie. That's it. They come in, watch a movie, they leave. Movie theater B can get free customers by giving out coupons to bring to latch on to people. That's the bait. First thing. People get the coupon and go, ooh, I want to watch this movie. So they go to the movie theater. Not, oh, I want to watch the movie. So they go to the movie theater. They get the coupon and it kind of hits them. Oh, I would definitely use this before it goes bad. Okay, cool. Once they get there, the person goes, oh, by the way, if you would like, because you have this coupon, we can give you the VIP treatment. This movie theater has a VIP treatment. We can give you the VIP treatment for an upgrade and it would still cost less than a regular ticket. The person goes, okay, yeah. So now you're increasing user experience, but you also got them to pay the regular price off of a free ticket. And then you go, okay, well, do you also want popcorn, candy, and soda with that? We can put it in a combo meal and only be about $10 more. Oh yeah, cool, excellent, awesome. You just brought in a new customer from the free ticket that gave them half off and gave them an upsell to $10 more than a regular ticket, all from just a coupon, as opposed to business A, that is actively waiting for new customers to come in that want to watch a movie. You went out and latched one in, just rolled them right in. Now, imagine if movie theater B also had a top tier where they could rent out the entire thing. Way more expensive, way more valuable. You see where this is going? So here's the value ladder, right there. The point of the value ladder is so that as you have new customers come in, you can either go out and bring them in if you so please, but then also as they come in, you can make them worth more. And customers that are worth more make your business worth more. Them's the rules. So you have the bait, right? The free coupon that people see and go, oh, I wanna use this before it goes bad. So then that pulls in new customers. Then when they get there, the upsell, which is go, let's, that brings them up to like the regular price. Hey, do you also want XYZ? Do you want the premium service? Let's say they say yes, they want the premium service. Okay, cool. Now they're on par. Now you have a full new customer, regular price. And then you go, hey, do you also want the candy drink that, you know, the extra stuff? Hey, do you want the extra stuff? Yes, excellent. That's the upsell. Okay, cool. And then, granted this, you probably wouldn't do to these customers, but if you did, good for you. Do you want to rent out the entire movie theater so you can watch it alone with your beloved, with your homies, whoever? And they go, yeah, I would really like that. Okay, five extra dollars. I'm sorry, 500 extra dollars. And they go, Yes, for the sake of the example. Now, you brought in a regular customer for free, made them worth equal, you upsold them on, on the cost of the candies and whatnot, and then you upsold them again to rent out the entire place. Now, this is widely exaggerated, but the whole point of it is that you have different levels of value for each step. Each customer is coming in, but might only want certain specific things. You can meet each customer where they're at in different levels of the ladder, but you can also make more money for the people. It doubles down because as new customers come in, if they come in for the free thing and only take the free thing and leave, but they had a good experience, they're more likely to come back. If they come in for the regular thing and then leave, but they had a good experience, they're more likely to come back. If they come in for the premium service and then they leave and they had a good experience, they're more likely to come back. They climb the ladder the more times they come back. So that leads into another thing that we're gonna talk about later, not in this video, but I just wanted to bring this up. I thought this was really powerful. Use this and let me know how you actually plan on using it for. Anyhow, this is day 12. Thank you for tuning in again. Matthew Holland signing off.